Okay, today I'm going to show you how to replace the crankshaft on a DD15 engine. For, for DD13s, the process of tightening the bolts is going to vary, but for DD15 and 16 it's going to be pretty similar, and the size of the crankshaft is going to vary between all those. So I'm going to show you the part number of this specific DD15 engine, but this doesn't mean that this is going to be the right crankshaft number for your engine to get this part you have to use the engine serial number of your truck be sure to do that because the crankshaft varies on sizes for torque and um, this can affect in a massive way the amount of power in the truck can produce if you swap the crankshaft for a um, a crankshaft thing is not a specific one for your truck anyway um to remove the crankshaft, of course, you have to remove the entire engine from the truck. There is no other way to do it. You have to remove the engine from the truck. You have to put it out. Um, either you can remove the engine completely or you can disassemble the block inside and just remove the block. Either way is the right way. So, having the engine here is pretty easy to remove the crankshaft. So easy. We're going to be removing the crankshaft replacing the crankshaft with a new one and replacing the main bearings with new ones as well is the easiest way to do it you can do replace the main bearings as well inside the truck if you want to know how to do that you can check this corner of this video right now and there will be a link for that video on how to replace the main bearings inside the truck is um kind of challenging in some way but you can do it having the engine outside is way easier to replace the main bearing because you want to take the whole crankshaft out so the first step to remove the crankshaft is just to lose all these bolts all these these are 15 16 bolts there are seven caps is going to be 14 bolts you are going to use an impact gun with a good power. It's going to be a three quarters of one inch impact gun to remove all the bolts. And then you're going to take the caps out. It's not hard in here. Once all the bolts are completely loose, as you can see, I already lose them all. The next step is to just move the cap like this until it gets out. It's kind of heavy, so you have to play a little with it you can see it's coming out mm -hmm. okay all right so it's out see that's uh, heavy so we're gonna do the same process with the other seven this one is gonna be a little harder so you gotta play a little more with it because you have the thrust bearings over here it's not on the back so you gotta play a little harder with it so at the same time you're pulling it out and after removing all the caps the crankshaft is uncovered this is the way the real crankshaft looks like without the caps without anything so with everything removed it is just time to lift the crankshaft out of the block um to do that you need a special um um, kind of something to grab the crankshaft to don't damage it or grabbing it from a size but it's always grabbing from the center so it balances the weight in this case because this crankshaft is not good anyway so we're gonna grab it with a chain or whatever I have right now but if your crankshaft is good if you will, will reuse the crankshaft grab something soft like a cloth or something if you're gonna use a chain and put it under the chain like in here to grab it because if you just grab it with a metal piece you can damage it that's only if you're gonna reuse it if you not going to reuse it you can uh, use whatever and just lift it out of the way and put it somewhere and then put the new one but in this case it's not good so i'm gonna get it out of the way with a chain Alright, the chain is on place as you can see. This is the way I'm gonna grab it. Remember, if you're gonna reuse it,
put something on their knee, like a cloth, a t-shirt, whatever, then doesn't damage the metal. As long as there is no metal to metal contact, everything will be fine. So, but if you won't reuse it, use whatever. That's why I'm using this chain because I won't reuse this crankshaft. So now, very important, the higher amount of weight on this crankshaft is going to be on the rear since it got this little uh, gear over here. This is gonna be heavier than the front. So you gotta push the chains a little to the back so the way um, is even from the rear and from the front. So you gotta place it just a little back. As you can see, it's just a little bit to the back just to keep it level. All right, so I'm going to lift it. In the same time, when you lift it, you have to make sure that these teeth are getting clear. You when you have, you getting it up. So when I do that now, see it's coming out. I'm going to check everything is fine. Yeah, it's free. And now it is coming out, as you can see. It is coming out. All we have to do is to make sure the crankshaft clears all the kernels from the block to remove it completely. See that one? It's touching already, so we have to move this one to one side to get it out. And now it's completely clear. Yes, it is. So if you feel that anything is getting forced, stop right there and check. Do not make pressure with the forelick of whatever you're using to lift it. Because if you do that, you can break something and it can result to a serious damage of the block or injure to yourself. So. So now it's completely out. Alright, so this is the way the crankshaft looks like on a DD15 engine. Going to look similar for other engines. It's just going to vary on the side. This is the crankshaft. This is the main important source of communication of the engine. From here you got the clutch, from here you got distribution, pistons. Um, this is the one that transmit the force to anything, the main bearings, and in here you got the belts and everything. So this is the one that connects everything. This is the main source of power. So it goes bad over the time. Anyway, um, so you got it there. This is the way it looks like, and we have the block right here. It looks empty without the crankshaft. We got the cylinder, nozzles, bearings, and everything else. And as you could see, you don't have to remove that to remove the crankshaft. You just can pull it out. That's why it's so easy. So now what I have to do is to get the new part to install it there. New bearings, new um, main bearings. And maybe I'm going to install new main bearing bolts as well. It's very important. So I'm going to make sure to make that happen. Also, there is something then I will tell you to do if you do this kind of job is to check the block in these areas because I have seen in some occasion that this one cracks from some areas over here. If you find that your block has a crack somewhere do not reuse the block you have to replace the block with another one so just make sure to inspect it because if you do that um, you can save a lot of problems if you don't you put everything back together and then the main bearing is going to spin and it's going to cause a major damage after spending twenty five thousand dollars nobody will be happy about that so anyway um, I will get the new parts and as soon as I get them, I will get back to the video. So see you then
finally I have the crankshaft right here with me. This is the part number of the crankshaft. This specific part number is for this specific engine serial number. I know that this part number can fit different um, engine numbers, but make sure to double check that using your engine serial number or your big number to get the right part. Because if you install this crankshaft to a engine that doesn't belong, this can result in a low power or a engine damage something like that so prevent that by checking your engine serial number or your big number so it comes completely packed it looks like completely new really need to put this on the engine because it looks perfect so one thing then this crankshaft doesn't have is the gear then goes on the back the gear then transfers the movement to the other gears this one doesn't come with it as you can see there is a gear over here this is the rear of the crankshaft the one that goes to the flywheel it's, it does not come with it so you have to remove it from the old crankshaft 